Hello, and welcome to the online module for the letter naming construct. In this module, we will review the research background and the rationale for including this construct in the K3 formative assessment. Then we will discuss the assessment materials for this construct, which include the progression itself with examples of the skills, as well as the assessment means form. First, why is it important to assess letter naming? The National Early Literacy Panel in 2009 identified the early literacy skills that are highly correlated with a child's later reading achievement. Among these skills is alphabet knowledge or letter naming. The NELP report represents the most comprehensive effort to date to identify the early literacy skills critical to a child's success in reading. The letter naming construct is about the relationship between the name of a letter and its visual representation. In order for children to read and comprehend texts independently, they must first have these basic skills. Assessment of letter naming and other foundational skills provides teachers with knowledge of their students' progress towards reading independence. We think North Carolina's rationale for assessing letter naming says it very well. Learning to read is a complex process that requires young children to acquire and continue to develop automaticity with foundational skills, including alphabet knowledge. Alphabet knowledge, or letter naming, includes the ability to identify and name letters. This critical foundational skill is closely correlated to later reading achievement. In addition to acquiring alphabet knowledge as a part of foundational skill development, successful readers can integrate the sound, visual, and meaning systems of language to monitor comprehension and repair misunderstandings and apply their understandings to a range of increasingly complex texts in a variety of settings. Letter naming is frequently included in early literacy assessments that kindergarten teachers administer. One important difference is that this formative assessment looks at children's skills in the classroom instructional context. In this assessment, letter naming is assessed using evidence teachers can gather during various classroom instructional activities. In other pre-literacy assessments, alphabet knowledge is assessed in a more prescribed format for example, letter naming with a timed letter fluency test. Still, you may use information from these other early literacy assessments as evidence to help you place a child on the letter naming progression. Now let's look at the progression for letter naming. This construct has two understandings and seven skills. The first understanding is children understand that spoken language can be represented by letters. This understanding is operationalized in three skills. First, that the child can distinguish letters from pictures, shapes, or numerals, skill A. Next, that the child can distinguish his own first name from other names or other words, for example, on folders, name charts, or among words or names in the classroom. This is skill B. And then that the child locates, talks about, or asks questions about letters in one's environment skill C. The second understanding is that children know the features of letters. This understanding includes four skills which reflect the child's knowledge of first more familiar and then less familiar letters. Initially, the child is able to identify by naming or selecting one or more letters in his own first name, skill D. Next, the child can identify some uppercase or lowercase letters in addition to letters found in his own first name skill E. Then the child identifies each of the 26 letters in some form. This may be a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, skill F. And finally, the child can identify all 52 letters in uppercase and lowercase form, skill G. And here is the letter naming construct progression you'll find in your binder. The first understanding, that children understand that spoken language can be represented by letters, can be seen in skills A through C, with the child first being able to distinguish letters from pictures, shapes, and numerals, and then picking out his own first name from other names or other words. In skill C, children demonstrate their awareness of and curiosity about letters in their environment by locating, talking about, or asking questions about letters around them. Note the performance descriptors in the third column that detail the child's behavior at each skill in the progression and the examples in the last column that paint a picture of the child's behavior in the classroom context. The second understanding, that children know the features of letters, 
is seen in skills D through G, where children typically first recognize more familiar letters, those in their own first name, skill D. Next, can demonstrate knowledge of less familiar letters, skill E. Then identify all 26 letters in either lower or uppercase form, skill F. And finally, all 52 letters in both upper and lowercase forms, skill G. Note again that this assessment of letter naming differs from time tests of letter fluency, where children are grouped by the number of letters they can name in a prescribed amount of time. While teachers are encouraged to observe children's knowledge of letters in the classroom, we have provided letter response sheets for teachers to pinpoint which letters, both upper and lowercase, that a child can name or select. These sheets can support the assessment of skills D through G on the letter naming progression. Assessments of letter naming are facilitated by materials that present the letters in a random order in both upper and lowercase, so a teacher can check a child's knowledge of specific letters that she may not have had the opportunity to observe in classroom activities. We have provided two such sheets, one for upper and the other for lowercase letters, for your use as needed. We have also provided a form to record which letters a child can identify, both upper and lowercase, again to support the assessment of skills D through G on the letter naming progression. Let's look at a video clip that illustrates one of the skills on the letter naming progression. How did you know that you were a lucky leader? Because I looked yesterday. What did you look at to know My that? name. Your name on the what? On the seven. Oh, on the seven. Look here. On the what? Seven. What is this? The calendar. The calendar. It tells us who's a lucky leader every single day. Yes. And look, what month did we change no, to? November. 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 And look, we have Christina and then Gracie, and then Hannah, and then yesterday was who? Jaden. Jaden, and then today is who? Caleb. Caleb. Good morning, girls. How are y'all know? Based just on the evidence seen in this video clip, the little boy can distinguish his own first name from other names on the calendar, skill B. If this teacher were focusing on assessing letter naming, she would want to know more about Caleb's knowledge of the letters in his own name, as well as letters not in his name, in both lower and uppercase forms to determine if he is in fact higher on the letter naming progression. While a teacher can learn a lot about children's knowledge of letters in everyday classroom situations, she would need to do further observation or engage Caleb in a letter naming activity to determine his learning status on the letter naming progression. While several of these children appear to know familiar letters as well as names and words found on the calendar, it is often the letters in one's own name or their friends' names that they recognize and can identify first. In this assessment, there are different assessment means that the teacher can use to gather evidence of where a child is on the construct progression, observations, situations, and tasks. For letter naming, the observation and situation are very similar. The only difference is that in the observation, children are interacting with letters on their own, while in the situation, the teacher initiates a game or activity with letters. In the teacher-initiated situation, you are more intentional in your interactions with the child to understand what he knows about the letters of the alphabet. Note there is no task for the letter naming construct. The assessment means form, seen here, has information a teacher can use when she is ready to begin assessing this construct. The top of the form includes a reminder that teachers should try to assess children in the most naturalistic environment first, that is with observation, before they move on to the situation. Also included in this form are what teachers need to know to observe this construct and instructions on how and where to observe students demonstrating these skills, as well as potential materials you can use. This section of the assessment means form includes examples taken directly from the construct progression, as well as skill level teacher instructions and reminders this table can serve as a quick reference for teachers of the skills in this progression and corresponding examples without having to refer back to the construct progression document. The next page of the assessment means form includes a description of the situation created for this construct, essentially a variety of letter naming games and activities. The form includes instructions for the teacher and a list of materials and reminders a teacher can use during the activity. Again, for letter naming, 
The situation assessment mean is very similar to the observation, except the teacher has initiated the game or activity. And again, we have provided skill level instructions and examples for this situation that can help teachers determine a learning status for children who participate in these activities. We cover how teachers can document their evidence for each construct progression on documentation forms and in the platform in a separate module. We do want to point out that we have developed watch fors for each construct, which are brief reminders and keywords that help differentiate the skill levels on the progression. These can be found on the documentation forms as shown here and on the platform as shown here. So, to recap, letter naming. Letter naming is a construct in the language development and communication domain. The letter naming progression reflects the child's knowledge of the letters in the alphabet, either by naming the letters presented or by selecting the letters named by the teacher. It is the child's ability to make the connection between the name of the letter and its visual representation. The construct has two understandings and seven skills or steps in the progression. In addition to the observation assessment mean, we have created an associated situation to assess the letter naming construct. Thank you for your time today. We hope you learned everything you need to know about the letter naming construct and are ready to begin assessing.